WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets slightly in the red to kick things off. S&P's minus by about two points right now, 33.43. NASDAQ futures minus by 24, trading at 11,370. The Dow off 13 points, 27,470. And the Russell off by less than one point right now at 1506. Gold contract up a bit, up about eight dollars at eighteen ninety. Silver up thirty-five cents at twenty-three ninety-six. We get the crude contract minus twenty-five cents right now at forty thirty-two. Notes and bonds a little bit of higher price and lower yield. The ten-year sitting right at that one thirty-nine twenty-one mark. That's positive by one tick right now. The thirty-year positive by two ticks. Taking a look at the ten-year on a daily. Just bouncing and navigating and meandering right around that 139.22 price point within a tick of that level right now at 139.21. All right, jumping over to the VIX. Interesting action in the VIX as a pretty strong market yesterday, and you actually saw an elevated level in the VIX all day yesterday, sitting at around 26.50. We're currently just above that level at 26.79. The S&Ps are minus by two points right now, but the VIX staying relatively elevated all day yesterday, right? You look at where we ended on Friday action, you're approaching 26. Somehow the S&Ps trade up a full percent and a half, and you sit right at that level in the VIX at 26.50 all day yesterday as the market was in great territory the whole day, but the VIX not able to pull back. Uh, the price of insurance staying high, even with the market trading up one and a half to two percent, which is not usually the case. We have a debate, of course, going on tonight. First presidential debate. What else is on the table? You also have Democrats unveiling a $2.2 trillion coronavirus aid bill. Whether this has a potential for becoming something that passes, I'm not really sure. But either way, you have Pelosi and Secretary of Treasury Mnuchin speaking by phone Sunday and on Monday. Plan to speak again this morning as Pelosi and Democratic leaders. And then you have Mnuchin and Chief of Staff of the White House, Mark Meadows, trying to hammer something out. You would then, of course, have to get this through the Republican-controlled Senate. Whether that happens in the next 35 or so days, that's the million-dollar question right now. The market would love that to happen. We're sitting at 33.43. Prior to COVID, you're talking about 3,400. So the S&P is within about 50 points of where we were before all this started. Uh, with everything going on, non-farm payrolls on Friday as well. We get some Fed speak today as well. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to bend Larry Pesavento. It's coming up live next with Trade What You See. We'll be right back.